Hello, everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled New SAP Visual Enterprise 9.0 Capabilities and Update. This SAP functional update webinar, jointly sponsored by SAP and LeverX, will announce new capabilities and updates included in the new SAP Visual Enterprise Solution version 9.0, which is available from SAP. SAP Visual Enterprise Solutions greatly enhance communication, collaboration, and decision making across the enterprise. My name is Ralph Davis, Marketing Manager at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Okay, thank you. Uh, good uh, morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Mark Landros, and I'm part of the SAP PLM Solution Management Group. Uh, my areas of responsibility are um, overall discrete product development uh, organizations using uh, SAP PLM, as well as uh, visual enterprise being a subset of that. Uh, my background, I think most of you uh, probably know me. Um, uh, I came with the visualization acquisition of Right Hemisphere uh, by SAP and have been working with uh, the folks at SAP from around 2006 when we first uh, made a um, uh, a deal to OEM our solutions uh, to uh, PLM7 through the PLM7 solution. So uh, with that, what we're going to take you through today is uh, an overview of what's new in uh, SAP 3D Visual Enterprise 9.0. Uh, we've made a, a considerable amount of foundational uh, enhancements and, and, and changes to uh, further um, cement our uh, solution area into uh, the SAP overall uh, workflow you know, for providing uh, a nice avenue for model-based uh, enterprise and model-based definition uh, initiatives within our customer basis. So with that said, um, you know, just as a kind of a quick overview of the visual enterprise solution sets, uh, visualization uh, you know, with our viewing technology is uh, provided by our free viewers. Uh, we uh, allow you to embed our viewers into your uh, different applications, uh, and uh, our viewing technology is what is being used by uh, our development teams to embed visualization capabilities inside of PLM, manufacturing, EAM, uh, sales and uh, service and support, and so forth. And to uh, get your engineering data into that particular format, uh, we have what is called Visual Enterprise Generator. And Visual Enterprise Generator uh, is a solution that uh, allows us to take our engineering data, our CAD data, and translate it and publish it into a lightweight visualization format that we can use within our other solution areas. Uh, we also have a, a solution called Visual Enterprise Author, which allows you to take those engineering designs, those lightweight visualizations, and enhance them and use them to tell uh, stories about the products, how to put them together, how to maintain them, how they operate, and so forth. So using it to describe actions that can be completed with uh, your products. So with that said, um, let's step through what's new in version 9. And uh, what we've done over the past year or so is uh, tried to simplify our platform for the creation and delivery of visualization files throughout the uh, SAP ecosystem. So um, we've made changes to our architecture, uh, the actual file format itself, uh, focusing on the VDS file format, um, allowing us to uh, stream data uh, a bit more efficiently, allowing us to enhance the change management capabilities and providing um, a kind of a framework for us to start working on uh, visualization on top of HANA. Uh, the simplification, you know, as I mentioned, it, we're focusing on the VDS file format, so we're making an investment in moving in that direction 
uh, as uh, using VDS as also an authoring format uh, and not just a delivery format. And then we've made some simplifications on the way the products are installed and licensed and so forth. So uh, what's new in uh, Visual Enterprise 9? When we look at the VDS file format, um, previous with uh, version 8 of, of Visual Enterprise and prior, uh, we had a workflow where we would use Visual Enterprise Author and we would primarily work with uh, the RH file format as our authoring format where we would um, create our work instructions, we would simplify the geometry, we would reorganize it, we would add materials and so forth. And the RH file itself was a, uh, the file format that was then displayed within the uh, Windows environment. Um, VDS uh, was uh, used to publish out to our mobile devices and used inside of uh, HTML5 containers and in, in, in web solutions as well. Uh, with Visual Enterprise 9, uh, we're, we've expanded the VDS capabilities and we are focusing on VDS as the primary format for both authoring and delivery. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. This is Dave Cramp from Leverex. How are you? Uh, and once again, I get to follow Mark uh, with a, a, a quick overview review of uh, the SAP Visual Enterprise Author version 9. Uh, okay, so hey, here I am. I, we, we see the SAP Visual Enterprise Author tool, and so you know, it's a classic layout. So the layout really hasn't changed all that much, as Mark had said. Uh, one of the things that, it, that is a little bit different is up here, uh, I just grabbed, uh, you can see standard VDS. So as Mark uh, highlighted in his um, presentation, the new direction for uh, the Visual Enterprise is to uh, use the VDS as the standard. That said, with the, with the version 9, you still have the capability to toggle to the legacy, as you can see that, the first line item, RH uh, environment. So basically, it's kind of going to let you uh, work with uh, your uh, functionality and the user interface that you had before in version 9 and the updated version 8. Uh, so just a quick way of, of seeing you know, some different differentiations here in the screen. So down here, you can see this is really the same setup that was had before. And you can see I've, I've got some information already preloaded here. So I'm going to pull up and just drag this jigsaw into my work screen. So what we're seeing here is that you know very similar jigsaw to what um, we saw when Mark was overviewing uh, the, the roadmap for Visual, Enter Visual Enterprise version 9. So here we can see uh, the, the jigsaw that's, that's opened up. Once again, the screen is, you know, the, the screen is very uh, friendly to work with. You know, you have abilities to, you know, collapse panels, add panels, hide panels, right hand click to turn things on and off. I don't want to use callouts. I can click on callouts and make it go away. You know, so your ability to see over here your entire indented bill of material for your uh, your your shattered uh, shattered jigsaw that we have over here in the center screen. Um, I'll try to grab a little more screen space here because I have a small laptop. 